carburetors uh, recently found a problem with this one. This is the one that was on the car. Uh, I squirted the, uh, actually it was looked like this when I was on the car, right, looking from the back. So what I did is I sprayed this area right here with um, starter fluid, something like this, and to try to see where I was getting a vacuum leak because I was getting this really strange idle sometimes coming off of acceleration and it would just stay at like 2000 RPM instead of 1000 and it just it's been going on and off but after you know I installed this new water pump and stuff I don't know what happened but something must have dislodged and came out of here and there's just like a pretty bad air leak in here and it's due to this you can hear it or see it let's see can you hear that or maybe you can even see it let's see anyways it's just moving back and forth like this and up and down a little bit but more so like this this direction so anyways once I sprayed the starter fluid on it right here the idle would would go down really low because I had the um, needle almost closed I don't know how that kinda works out you'd think if I had an air leak you would need more fuel I'm not or it was just sucking it out of out of the uh, Venturi I don't know what but it was only halfway open so when I sprayed it it sealed it up and the idle went down really low so I guess yeah that probably makes sense because this was very closed so it wasn't hardly getting any gas when I sealed this up so anyways that makes sense you can tell I just discovered all this stuff so uh, anyway I found this old carburetor I modified years ago years and years ago and um, I'm going to try to get it to work this time. It, it worked last time too, but um, you can see where it's been modified. The, where the butterfly shafts have been uh, shaved down, and the screws have been shaved down, and then soldered, a bunch of solder everywhere to hold it, hold the uh, the butterfly plates in place. Now this is a lot of work. A lot of work with the Dremel tool, probably. I don't remember. I can't believe I actually did this. I must have been a teenager or something. Uh, so, another thing I did is you can see this little clip here. When you push this down, um, this little screw, If when you push it down like that, Actually, it was the other direction. I'm going to try to demo this thing. What this does is it opens up both butterflies at the same time if this is something that somebody wanted to do and, you know, to go faster, right? Like I did when I was whatever, younger, dumber. So, anyways, there you go. So, that's how to make both butterflies open up. You see how that one is no delay anymore, hardly? Just because this thing is hitting uh, sooner than it used to. Now all that is is like a, I used a tiny little screw and a nut and a lock washer. And this is a piece of sheet brass from some project. I don't know what it is. But I'm not going to do that right now because I don't, I don't need, I'm not racing or anything. So I'm just going to deactivate it see how you can deactivate that and it goes back to its back to its regular stop kind of right there so I gotta loosen this up a bit and get it uh, hopefully this one isn't you can see where I uh, took parts off of it the idle screws gone and uh, 
Here's another mod I made here. This is a different style to plug up this thing. I used the existing screw to screw this down, but I shaved whatever that thing was hanging off here. Shaved it off, made it real thin plate here, and then used a um, small Allen head, flat, uh, whatever this is, flathead Allen to plug that up. So that's about it for this carb. I think it's a I think it's a 30 33 33 Oh no, 23 23, I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess I I knew that back then. So it's a 23 23 carb. And so was the one I just took off, but I just, you know, I can't believe, you know, how bad this one is. You can just hear that slop in there. And I've been having these off and on weird idle issues, and it's probably because of that. Here's the other, what I did, there was a big chunk of, uh, you know, uh, emissions things hanging off of this thing, and I just cut cut it off real close there, and I leave this here for the choke cable. But uh, with these later carbs that are 23, 23 millimeter, you end up with all this stuff hanging off of them. But I cut them off because uh, I don't know what they really do, but they sure make it uh, ugly and uh, a bunch of stuff hanging all over your carb. Here's another plug that I made, but as I can I can tell, after of uh, since it, I think I built this when I first got the car going in 20 what 12 13, and you can maybe see a little bit where that where the um, O-ring is dried up already, so that could be prone to a leak. But I, I think I probably put a sealant on this while I put it in anyway. And these are just for the mounting, I guess, of this little apparatus that had something to do with putting fumes recirculating fumes from the gas tank into the carb again or something like that could have been this one on this side not sure this little pathway here has a little plug in it inside this thing if you take this cover off and I probably have to do the same thing to this you can see that hole right there back uh, I think back then I just covered this with a plate and that kind of sealed that up but that leads to a hole right in here so I don't know, remember what it did it provides some sort of vacuum to suck gases out of the gas tank maybe I'm not sure so that's the plan here on the carburetors. Um, maybe I'll do another th thing on how to... Well, I just explained how to plug these up. This side and this side on the later carbs. And we've already looked at what you could do to get... You know, this idea probably came from the 850 competition manual from Faza, where he said, you know, probably remove all the all the material you can off of here to gain horsepower because back in the day that was in the SCCA rules they had to use a factory carburetor so they couldn't you know uh, put a different carb on it so they tried to get you know more CFM by reducing the amount of uh, uh, metal that impedes the airflow I also did it on the choke here too and you know with storage and everything you can see how it kind of got chewed up on the edge but not that that's gonna do much damage but through playing around with this carb so many years I ended up breaking part of this here off so it, it, I've used it even with that broke off because there's nowhere for that pin to go because you know the bowl is sitting right here but I don't like it so I'm gonna switch that but I don't know if I'm gonna do this to a that's a lot of work there again to grind that off and uh, 
solder together so I don't know I don't use a choke too much on this car so I'm not going to do the choke I think maybe I'll just take the whole shaft out I'm not sure another thing I did here is I retapped this hole for a, some sort of fitting and I tapped this hole too for either probably a block, I mean a plug fitting, to plug that hole up because this top had both, you know, both uh, um, a nipple on each side, so these brass things. So, anyways, this is probably going to get scrapped. Now, here's some of the damage I did with the uh, drill, drilling out those holes for the putting in a, a fitting in here I think probably what I want to do is do something more heavy duty or something that I saw years ago this is definitely not something I did recently I wouldn't have done that I don't think so that's about all we got oh, there's still fuel in this thing Yeah, you can see the difference in these things where you can see the screws here. And let's see if you can see the difference with that here. I guess it's pretty pretty significant difference there, huh? Think it's worth a horsepower? One horsepower? I don't know. Point two? Maybe it's not even measurable. I, I, I'm i sure it probably makes a difference. Here's some, oh, one of those nipples that I took off on this thing. You can see the size differences quite a bit. I don't think you can even hog this one out that big. This is a cover off of an earlier carburetor. So this cover doesn't belong to a, the 2323 carb. It belongs to a 2321 or a 2123, whatever it is. And this is the cover that belongs to the later model, where, it, where it's got both. So this belongs to a later carb, and this belongs to an early carb, but this, I use it on the late, late carbs because of the simplification here. The rest of it's the same, and then you don't have some uh, emissions holes here too, something like that. I think they're about the same on the top. Uh, I guess I'll just stare at it some other time or just you know I, I thought there was a difference but maybe there's not there's some difference somewhere I remember but anyway, that, that's it for now on the carburetors hopefully you could uh, pick something out of there that was useful from all this playing around I've done and continue to have play around because some of these parts are just getting so old and used up and then when you pull them out of a box like this I imagine this thing was all rusty and caked up and it took two or three years for all that junk to come out and I finally finally you know created a, enough of a big you know leak in here that it made the car practically undrivable all of a sudden kinda you know real bad it got real bad but before it it got bad it was just off and on sometimes and I felt it was the weather or something temperamental Italian car but I guess it wasn't it was that leak in there <laughs>